The winner of the Best News and Current Affairs podcast is the Football Social Daily. We now welcome Jim Salverson from the Sports Social creators of the Football Social Daily. Congratulations, Jim. You must be excited to get this award. Cheers, James. Yeah, it's, it's great to pick up an award like this. I think when you're in the business of making content, as you know, it can feel a little bit like a treadmill sometimes. You get one thing done and it's the next thing and you never actually take that time to sit back and step back and look at what you created. So winning something like this is the perfect opportunity to do that. And it's a nice bit of recognition for myself, the project and the team as to what we've achieved over the last couple of years. Well, actually, you've made life 10 times more difficult for yourself because you do obviously <laughs> a daily a daily show. How, how, how do you put together the daily show and how long does it take to prep for? It isn't always easy. You're quite right. It's a kind of big undertaking to produce a new radio show or so a new podcast that is 45 minutes to an hour every single day covering Premier League content. Some days it's easier and it writes itself and it preps itself and some days it isn't. I think one of the benefits we have as a team is every single person who contributes to the podcast is a massive football fan. They understand what football fans are interested in, in terms of content. And so that makes it almost easier to choose the talking points, choose the discussion points. We've also got a very close knit team. And because we've got the, it's the 10,000 10, hours thing, I guess, to a certain extent, we've done so many of these shows, the more we've done, the easier it's become, but it is a big undertaking. And it's important to get that right as well. It's one of those things, making content like this, that you can't shortcut. You can't just be lazy and chuck anything into the pot and see what comes out the other side. Um, but at the same time, you have to be efficient because when you're doing this on a daily basis, it can take over your life if you're not careful. I was going to say, actually, surely with the Premier League we have, you're never short of a story or two. Or have there been days where you're like, oh, God, what the hell am I going to put in the show? Yeah, I mean, recently it has been just chocker. I mean, you look at the news agenda of the last 12 months and there's been big events that no one would ever seen coming previously outside of the world of football, which all goes into part of that narrative. Things like, I mean, recently the uh, Bromovich freezing of assets and the ownership of Chelsea Football Club is an issue. COVID was a massive talking point for us in the Premier League as well. So there is in general quite a decent news agenda, be it transfers or games or whatever it is that's kind of filling up the back pages at any given time. So we're never usually short of content. You occasionally get days that might be during the international break or during the summer as well. We keep um, the podcast rolling during the summer break where it does get a little bit quiet, but there's normally plenty. And to be honest with you, it's more of a challenge to keep the podcast into its 45 minute constraint than it is to actually find something to fill that time most of the time. So you obviously got someone on the show gobbier than me because that's what they try. <laughs> I always struggle to keep it in the, in the same gap. Um, is there anyone you guys want to thank uh, for, for winning this award? There's an amazing team that go into contributing this podcast. We have journalists, fans, comedians, influencers who contribute on a regular basis uh, and they all deserve thanks. There's too many of them to name check. We also have a core team of producers and presenters, in particular, Nama Korn, who produces the show on a daily basis, uh, Fergal Brennan, who produces our weekend shows, and also Marley Anderson, who whose official job title is our head of social media at Sports Social, but his secondary job title is mouthy Newcastle United fan at the moment and he's become a regular on the show and he's someone that the fans really seem to I think because he's got a slightly dour personality about him and he is a little bit moany and he knows the pain of being a football fan he's someone that our listeners have really connected with so everyone deserves a load of credit and a load of thanks for helping us get this. Jim thank you so much for your time congratulations again to you to you and the team and hopefully we'll catch up again soon. Nice one cheers mate.